Joseph Matthew, Software Engineer, age 42. History, chest pain on climbing steps or exerting, pain on the left and radiating to left arm and jaw, dyspnea, complaints of fatigue. See Joseph, your blood pressure remains elevated and I am going to make some changes to the medicines which you are taking. But the changing the medicines alone is not going to make you better in your symptoms of breathlessness as well as fatigue. You need to change your habits and behavior if you want to become better. I know I have to reduce my weight some kgs, but my job requires a long time you know, sitting in front of the computer. And exercise is a bit difficult because of my breathlessness and uh, my timings. I have to wake up early and go to my job and in the evening I come back very late. And the only breaks I take is either for eating or for smoking. Mr. Joseph, you can tell me about your smoking habit. How much do you smoke in a day? I'm not a heavy smoker uh, like others in my office. Just a packet, not more than No, doctor. Till three minutes ago, he used to smoke two packets a day. But not now. I smoke less. So when did you start your smoking habit? During my college days, um, I was 18 when I started. I used to smoke three or four in the beginning, but uh, slowly I started smoking more and more. What about your weight? That has also increased. Uh, I used to play cricket when I was in college. I was 10 kgs lighter then. So more weight, less exercise and talking to, taking to cigarette smoking has made you make more breathless and your blood pressure is high. I see some variations in your ECG since the last time these tests were done. From when did you start having your chest, chest discomfort or chest pain or something like that? Well, uh, occasionally, but it would just pain and then it would pass. It was not like this. I am a bit worried. It is good that you got concerned and came for a checkup. You are at a risk of heart attack and stroke. These symptoms are actually the warning signs you need to do something about your habits. In fact, uh, the good thing, the good news to you is that if you really change your habits and stick to it, you can do a lot to prevent a major organ damage. Yes, doctor. I will do the needful. Now, what I am going to do is to help you to reduce your weight. And for that, what you need to do is come down on your uh, food which you take. And next thing, when you want to uh, have a relaxation, go for a small walk. And you need to increase your daily habit of walking, at least 20 minutes a day in the beginning, and build it up. And the next most important thing I need to do is to help you to quit smoking. We can help you a lot, there is a literature on that. Because this is one of the major contributors for your breathlessness and your blood pressure. And it leads to diabetes also. Diabetes? But why diabetes, doctor? I didn't know it had any connection with my smoking. Heart disease, diabetes and stroke are actually diseases of the tubes or the blood vessels which takes nutritious supply to the various organs of your body. If you take this as a healthy blood vessel, the chemicals in the tobacco does two harms to this blood vessel, these tubes. What it does is that it, the chemicals clog the blood vessels and also constricts it. So that you need more pressure to push blood through and the organs are devoid of its nutritious blood supply. So once it gets totally clogged like this, your organ will suffer whole damage. Okay, and I thought it was just cholesterol that did it. No, the chemicals in the tobacco also does the same trick. See Joseph, Tobacco causes number of other diseases other than lung cancer. If you want to avoid premature death, I strongly advise you to quit smoking today. Tobacco is the single biggest change you can make to avoid a premature heart attack. Tobacco cessation has been found to be the best intervention in patients with cardiovascular disease, even more effective when compared to drugs. If you stop smoking today, your body will start to recover. I understand that you started smoking since the age of 18 years and you can imagine the amount of toxin you have built up in your blood vessels. But, but how long will this take, doctor? Isn't there any other medication that I can take to clear my arteries and purify my blood? In fact, if you stop smoking today, your body starts recovering fast. Immediately, the oxygen supply to your tissue improves. 
you start feeling better, you feel less tired. You definitely don't need any further medications because whatever medicines which I have prescribed you will start working. These drugs start works better once you avoid smoking. Your blood pressure will come down and that is the best thing we can do to work together to make you better. I hope you understand how important it is to quit smoking. Yes, sir. How will you do that? I'll try to cut down the numbers and I'll quit. But it will be very difficult for me. What are the barriers do you anticipate which prevents you from quitting smoking? My job, which is very stressful. And many people in my office smoke. We take breaks together. Um, I smoke and I feel alert when I feel sleepy at work. So job related tension is the biggest barrier for you? Yes, I smoke to reduce my tension. What is your biggest source of worry as of now? Is your health or your work? If you do not have good health, how will you work? Smoking gives you short term relief from your work related stress. But it leads to a lot of health problems, which is your biggest worry as of now. Yes. When you stop smoking, your oxygen supply to your body will improve. You will be able to breathe more deeply and you will feel more energetic. Actually, your breathing and oxygen supply is what is making you tired as of now. It all makes sense, doctor. But it will be difficult for me to break this habit. But you told me that you had cut down on your smoking. Actually, one of my friends told me that uh, my chest pain is due to too much of smoking and drinking coffee. So I reduced both. Anyway, you are already halfway on to it. You have cut down by smoking by half and we'll take it from there. Smoking doesn't just affect your husband's health, it causes heart problems for you as well. You know what is second-hand smoke? And when your husband smokes near you, the smoke you inhale is called second-hand smoke and increase the chances of having a heart problem by 25 to 35 percent for people like you who have never touched a cigarette ever in your life. So you can imagine the harm you do to your children. Doctor, I have asked him to stop the smoking many times, even my end daughter. She hates the smell of smoke on him and inside the house. We have more reasons to quit, isn't it Joseph? I'll try. I'll try and cut down the number and then I'll quit. Is there a special occasion that is coming up in your family soon? Yes, doctor. Two weeks from now, our daughter's birthday. What do you think, Joseph? Will that not make a good birthday present for your daughter? Yes, uh, I will do it. I will cut down the number and then I will quit on her birthday. That is good. In that case, what we need to do is we have to prepare yourself. There are certain steps we need to take. And that book gives you some practical advice on how to do that. First three days will be a little difficult, but if we can overcome that, then it will be smooth going. And you adopt those steps and get back to me and we'll help you through how you can achieve that for your daughter's birthday. Okay, I am glad that you have agreed to make some changes in your habits to regain your health. And here is a prescription for the medicines and there is a letter to the dietitian. She will help you to adjust your diet in a better, healthier fashion. Walk 20 minutes every day and quit smoking. And you'll really feel better soon. And more than the medicines, the best thing you can do to your health is to avoid the use of tobacco. If your chest pain gets worse, call me earlier or else come back and meet me in two to three weeks' time. I would like to get a report from you of what all changes you have made in your diet, how much you are walking, and what are the steps you have taken to stop the use of tobacco. See you. Smoking causes a large and growing number of premature deaths. Overall, smoking in India accounts for 20% of deaths from stroke and 24% of deaths from cardiac and other vascular diseases.